Okay, so for today, these are the remaining topics of Chapter 1 that we are going to discuss. These are elimination of arbitrary constants, families of curves, and the initial value problems. The topic outcomes for this module or the remaining part of Chapter 1 are the following. Express a parametric equation into its equivalent DE by eliminating the arbitrary constant contained in that equation through the correct use of differentiation and simplified ampli uh, algebraic simplifications. Express equations of families of curves into its equivalent DE by eliminating the same as in number one, eliminating arbitrary constants contained in the equation through the correct use of differentiation and algebraic simplifications. The third one is to show the solution of an initial value problem by imposing the initial condition to get the value of an arbitrary constant. And the fourth one is show all the intervals in which the solution of a given DE is unique through partial derivative correctly. So we start with the first topic, elimination of arbitrary constants. There are several ways a differential equation may come up. Some uh, we will be discussing that later in the succeeding chapters, specifically in modeling. There is one way of obtaining a differential equation by stating some families of relations defined by a parameter or parameters which we call them arbitrary constants. This represents any random value. However, it is not a variable. Although it could take in any value, but once it is given a value, it would no longer be given any more values like in the case of a variable. Methods of elimination may vary with the way in which a constant is placed in a relation. Method that is effective with one problem may be poor for other problems. Actually, there are three methods of elimination of arbitrary constants. The first method is differentiation and combination. Second one is isolation of constants. And the third one is with the use of determinants. But in our discussion, we will be utilizing only the first one, which is the differentiation and combination. Now, how do we do this uh, method? It composed of three simple steps. And this method can be applicable in eliminating arbitrary constants in a given relation. So the first step is you have to count the number of arbitrary constants. Because the number of arbitrary constants will be equal to that of the number of times you are going to differentiate the equation. The second one is you perform differentiation depending on the number of arbitrary constants, as I mentioned in step one. So take the derivative. Number three, algebraically manipulate the equations. You can interchange actually your steps number two and number three as may be required by the given differential, the given, uh, I mean, uh, the given equation. Now, to illustrate how do we do it, let us have the following example. So the first one is to eliminate C from the relation x cubed minus 3x squared y is equal to C. Okay? So as you can see from our equation, we only have here one, uh, bar of one uh, arbitrary constant, which is C. So we are asked to eliminate this C, okay? So how are we going to do it? By the method for the steps that I mentioned. So we can do that by taking only the first derivative. So taking the first derivative, so again, you have here your given differential equation. You have x cubed minus 3x squared y is equal to c. 
And now taking the first derivative, this is 3x squared dx minus, now this is a derivative of the product. The first term, 3x squared times the derivative of the second term dy minus y times the derivative of 3x squared, which is 6x dx. Is equal to the, the derivative of the constant, which is 0. Okay? So as you can see here in the equation, you have here 3x squared dx and negative 6xy dx. So we can uh, have them together. So you have 3x squared minus 6xy quantity dx minus 3x squared dy is equal to 0. Okay? What do you notice in every terms of the, differ the equ resulting equation? So you have here 3x squared, negative 6xy, and you have here 3x squared. So what you have now is common term, which is, or I mean common factor. Common is 3x, okay? So let us divide all terms of the resulting equation by negative 3x. Why do I divide it with negative 3x? Because I want to start with this uh, y. So dividing it by uh, negative 3x, the result would be 2y quantity, so 3x squared over negative 3x is negative x. Quantity dx, then you have here plus x dy is equal to 0. Okay? So you now have this uh, resulting equation after the elimination of the only one arbitrary constants in the given equation. So the quantity 2y minus x dx plus x dy is equal to 0. Again, this part of differential equation is the opposite of what we are going to do in the succeeding chapters. Here you are given of the solution and we want to find the differential equation. But later, you will be given of the differential equation and then you have to solve it using any of the uh, type of differential equation that you are going to discuss later. Okay? Now we proceed with the second example. We are asked to eliminate C from the relation. So we now have this uh, equation. Let me change uh, the color. Y sine X minus XY squared uh, is equal to C. So again, there is only one arbitrary constant that we are going to eliminate. And therefore, how many times are we going to differentiate? Only once. Okay, so let us solve and let us eliminate C. So you have here y sine x minus x y squared is equal to C. So you have to differentiate it once. No? So we involve here derivative of sine x and the other terms are to be uh, differentiated with the derivative of the product. Okay? So let us proceed. So you have here y, derivative of sine is cosine x dx plus the first term, sine x, times the derivative of the first term, dy. Then you have minus x times the derivative of y squared is 2y dy and then minus y squared times the derivative of x is dx is equal to 0. That is the derivative of the constant c. And now we just uh, manipulate or simplify the equation by combining those terms with dx and those terms with dy. As you can see here on the first term, you have here y 
cosine dx, and the last term is negative y squared dx. So with that, we can factor out y. So you have here y times the remaining on the first term is cosine x, and the remaining in this term is minus y dx. Then for this one, you have plus the quantity sine x minus 2xy dy is equal to 0. Okay? So, so that is now our uh, resulting equation after eliminating the arbitrary constant. So what you need to do is just to differentiate depending on the number of arbitrary constant present. The third example, now we have here two arbitrary constants that we are going to eliminate. Okay? So with that, how many times are we going to uh, differentiate? That would be twice or two times because you have here C1 and C2. So let us solve it. Let me use the green uh, color. Okay, so copying our given uh, equation, x is equal to C1 cosine of omega t plus C2 sine of omega t. Okay, so what we are going to eliminate here are C1 and C2. And for the derivative of cosine omega t, we know that the derivative of cosine u is negative sine u du. So we need to take the derivative of omega t, which is equal to omega dt. Okay? So, so that we will not be always writing here dt, we can take uh, the derivative of x with respect to t already. Okay? So let us take the derivative of the first term on the right side of the equation. So that would be negative omega c1 sine of omega t. And for the second term, that would be plus omega c2 cosine of omega t. Okay? And then another derivative, since again we are allowed only to a maximum of two times of differentiation, we take now the second derivative. So the second derivative of x with respect to t would be equal to, again, the derivative of sine omega t is cosine omega t times the derivative of omega t, which is omega. So that would be now equal to negative omega square c1 cosine of omega t minus, since this is cosine, derivative of cosine is negative sine, so times w, so, uh, sorry, I mean, sorry, omega, so omega square C2 sine of omega T. Now, we are uh, done with the uh, two times of differentiation. As we mentioned in the procedure, the number of times we have to differentiate will just be equal to the number of the arbitrary constant present and to be eliminated. We are done, however, still the arbitrary constants are there. So the process of combination is necessary. So as you can see in our resulting equation, when we factor out here negative omega square, what will be the resulting equation? So the second derivative of x with respect to t is negative omega square times c1 cosine of omega t plus C2 sine of omega t. And now what is this? This factor, C1 cosine of omega t plus C2 sine of omega t. As you can see, it is just the given equation. Here, x is C1 cosine of omega t plus C2 sine of omega t. So it means that this part is just equal to x. And therefore, 
replacing that part with x, what will now be our equation? So that would be the second derivative of x with respect to t is equal to negative omega squared x. And now the arbitrary constants c1 and c2 were eliminated. Okay?